So good morning, everybody. I'm hanging out with my friend John. Fox 5 Morning News starts. Look over there. And it starts right now. <laughs> she's a really sweet dog. I mean, she's had several litters of puppies, but a great temperament, a really sweet dog. <laughs> oh, oh. And that's that's not exactly what we would have expected. Now, here at the range. This weekend, President Obama and top lawmakers are working to come up with a budget agreement so they can raise the amount of amount of uh, money that our country can borrow. Broward Sheriff's deputies arrest a man who they say has more pussy than he can handle. I'm Kathleen Corsa with that story coming up on Channel 6 Action News. Kathleen, roll up. When you're done with your hundreds. He's stuck. <laughs> wow, that's great form. All right, roll back up. <laughs> well, that just happened. I don't need to do it. <laughs> Welcome back to Good Day Tampa Bay. Coming. Yes, sorry. <laughs> Coming up in this next half hour, the scoop on frozen yogurt. Is it really any healthier than ice cream? We'll get the skinny on what many think is a positive, low-fat alternative. Very good, Ann. Plus, Bill Murphy hits the road for another one-tank trip. His next destination will probably leave you feeling a little jolly. <laughs> All right, forecast outside for us today. I'm sorry. A man in West Virginia faces assault charges after police say he passed gas in fantasy. The officer, I mean, don't laugh. Oh. <laughs> after the man was already arrested for DUI. <laughs> According to police reports, of St. Cruz, I can't even get through this. <laughs> he passed the gas so loudly, the officer said it was, quote, very odorous <laughs> and created... <laughs> It created contact of an insulting or provoking nature. Sweetwater police say they welcome some of the panel's recommendations, but money will be a key factor as to whether or not they'll be implemented. But one thing money can't buy is your mama. She's for free, and everybody knows it. Robert Gilmart, New Center 7, Sweetwater. <laughs> the former head of the International Monetary Fund is now free on bail, and the outlook in the sexual assault case against him seems more in his favor tonight. Fox News correspondent Laura Engel explains. And if you're not really into the tree lighting thing, you should still come down here because this well, architecture. Tell us great. a little bit more. Well, this seaport's a lot more than just shopping. I mean, yeah. it's a neighborhood, and there's so many different places you can hang out. You can just come and be by the water. All you right. can take a boat. If you could stop waving for a second. Now, a DTE spokesperson says the problems with the gas line were mostly fixed around 4 yesterday afternoon. Workers were able to check most homes by 7 last night. They say all workers were required to leave a note behind explaining why they had to enter the home and lock the door as they left. Mike. Thank you, Tamara. I appreciate that. All right. Victim statements have given Chris and Shannon's parents the chance to confront their children's convicted killer and, in Hugh Newsom's case, to actually get an answer out. But the, the judge says what swayed the sentencing decisions, at least in his mind, were George Thomas's missed opportunities in a tight space, which persuaded him, as, as he said, that uh, staying and doing nothing is as heinous as doing it all. All right, we're having technical difficulties, as we can see. A little frustration there. It must be. Oh, oh there it is. Oh. She hit the button, huh? I've been, I've been hijacked. Fiona. 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 She doesn't even know.
wind is so strong here in Palm Springs that I have been stuck. We'll toss it back to you guys. And uh, Aaron, again, congratulations on your big Hooters. Uh, the uh, oh, Hoosiers you, win. You said what? Wow, that was a slip of the tongue. What was yeah. that again? The Hoosiers who won. YouTube. Yeah, that's Anyways, good. Anyways, yeah, that'll be a new YouTube one time. Say. So thank you so much. Best of luck to you. Thank, thank you. you. Isn't that nice? <laughs> Can they still hear us? No. The whole time he's like, <laughs> That's... Shoulder. I think it's it's hot. I mean, I want to put. Can I have some cotton balls or something? I want to push mine up. Why don't you like it? You don't no, it's like fine. it? Oh, fine. Let's go to Steve Keeley. Is that where we're going? I love yes. them. I think they're stunning. Where's Steve? I just stare at their makeup. I think they're fantastic. Joyce Evans for the Channel Six Ten O'clock News. Fuck it, we get out of this joint.